हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस ऑन प्राइम मूवर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज प्राइम मूवर प्राइम मूवर इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच यूजेस नेचुरल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी एंड इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी एनी डिवाइस इन व्हिच नेचुरल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इट इज कॉल्ड प्राइम मूवर लेट अस टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑफ प्राइम मूवर इन आईसी इंजन द केमिकल एनर्जी ऑफ फ्यूल it will be converted into heat energy and heat energy into mechanical energy so ic engine is a prime mover so we can classify the prime mover so first of all what is the definition of prime mover prime mover means it is a device in which the natural source of energy it will be converted into mechanical energy it is called prime mover we can classify the prime mover thermal prime mover and non thermal prime mover thermal prime mover means this prime mover are directly related with heat we have already discussed in our previous lecture what is heat so heat is a energy due to temperature difference and temperature means it is a sense of hotness or coldness of body so these are the prime mover it is related with temperature or heat it is under the category of thermal so in thermal prime mover the first one is fuel means heat engines so heat engine means what so heat engine is a device in which chemical energy of fuel it will be converted into heat energy during combustion and this heat energy it will be converted into mechanical energy it is called heat engine and heat engine can be classified as external combustion engine and internal combustion engine we have already prepared videos on ic engine so first one is external combustion engine what is external combustion engine external means outside external combustion engine means in which engine the combustion will be take place outside the combustion chamber it is called external combustion engine so in external combustion engine the combustion will be take place outside the combustion chamber let us take one example of external combustion engine it's a boiler boiler means in which the combustion will be take place outside the combustion chamber so it is external combustion engine so further again external combustion engine will be classified as the first one is reciprocating engine why it is called reciprocating engine because here we are using piston cylinder device the motion of the piston is to and from means from tdc to bdc this motion is called reciprocating motion reciprocating steam engine means here the combustion will be take place outside in case of a reciprocating engine the combustion will be take place outside and during the combustion first of all we supplied the heat energy to water and water will be converted into steam and this steam is utilized to reciprocate the piston to reciprocate the piston so it is called reciprocating steam engine the second one is steam turbine thermal power plant work on rankine cycle thermal power plant means what coal based power plant in which power plant we are using coal as a fuel it is called thermal power station in all thermal power station we are using boiler so in all power station we are using boiler and this boiler will produce the steam by supplying the heat energy this steam is utilized to rotate the turbine so it is called steam turbine so it is a example of external combustion engine means boiler thermal power plant work on rankine cycle the main component of the rankine cycle is boiler boiler means it is a device means it is a closed pressure vessel in which we can produce the steam and this steam is utilized to rotate the turbine it is called steam turbine another is closed cycle gas turbine so in closed cycle gas turbine here the combustion will be take place outside and we can increase the pressure of gas and this gas is is utilized to rotate the turbine means this gas will expand through the turbine blades and it will produce the power but practically open cycle gas turbine is used the another classification of thermal prime mover is 
न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट सो इट इज अक्लियर एनर्जी इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इन टर्म्स ऑफ हीट सो द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट मीन्स न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी इट इज ड्यू टू फ्यूजन रिएक्शन एंड फ्यूजन रिएक्शन इट विल बी टेक प्लेस इन फ्यूल सो देर आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फ्यूल अवेलेबल इन इट विल रिलीज द न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी लाइक एस यूरेनियम थोरियम देर आर सो मेनी आइसोटॉप ऑफ यूरेनियम यूरेनियम टू थर्टी फाइव यूरेनियम टू थर्टी एट ओके दीज आर द आइसोटॉप ऑफ द न्यूक्लियर फ्यूल ओके सो इट विल रिलीज द एनर्जी बाय फ्यूजन रिएक्शन एंड फ्यूजन रिएक्शन सो इन केस ऑफ ए फ्यूजन रिएक्शन टू लाइट न्यूक्लियस लाइक हाइड्रोजन एंड हिलियम it will strike with high velocity and it will release the energy it is called fusion reaction and this reaction it will be take place in solar system this reaction it will be take place in sun so in fusion reaction nuclear power plant it will work on fusion reaction nuclear power plant is the best example of control chain reaction whatever the reaction it will be take place in nuclear power plant in which we are using control rod to control the reaction and nuclear bomb it is a example of uncontrolled chain reaction same like as hydrogen bomb it's a example of fusion reaction and solar means sun it's a example of fusion reaction what is geothermal power plant geothermal energy is thermal energy generated and stored in the earth geothermal energy is the heat from the earth it is a clean and sustainable energy resources of geothermal energy range from the shallow ground to hot water and hot rocks found a few miles beneath the earth surface extremely higher temperature of molten rocks called magma it is utilized to transfer the heat from magma to alloy pipes which are inserted or drilled in the earth surface this magma will transfer the heat to pipes and pipe is filled with water and through heat transfer the water is converted into steam and this steam it is utilized to rotate the turbine so we can generate the electricity through geothermal power station it is a source of heat another is biogas plant biogas is produced from organic waste which biodegraded by means of bacteria in an anaerobic environment biogas is a renewable energy source biogas is produced by anaerobic digestion with anaerobic organisms this closed system is called an anaerobic digester this process produces a biogas consisting of methane carbon dioxide and other contaminant gases this biogas can be used directly as a fuel in domestic purpose as well as it is also used in gas engines the another classification of thermal energy is solar energy we already aware with solar energy in nowadays we are using solar panel so the function of the solar panel it will convert the solar energy into electrical energy and electrical energy into mechanical energy so solar energy means it is a free source of energy means it is naturally available and it will also useful to produce the electricity by using solar panel so it is also a prime mover so heat engine can be classified as ec engine and ic engine we already discussed so another classification of heat engine is called internal combustion engine internal combustion engine means what so internal combustion engine means the combustion will be take place inside the combustion chamber here the combustion will be take place inside the combustion chamber so it is called internal combustion engine so in our bikes cars trucks whatever the engine we are using these all are the example of ic engine here the combustion will be take place inside the combustion chamber but in case of ac engine the combustion will be take place outside the combustion chamber here we are considering the example of old type of ic engine which is used in automobile another is 
ओपन साइकिल गैस टर्बाइन दिस साइकिल इज यूज इन एयरक्राफ्ट एप्लीकेशन सो इन केस ऑफ ए ओपन साइकिल गैस टर्बाइन द कंबस्टन विल बी टेक प्लेस इनसाइड द कंबस्टन चैम्बर हियर वी आर यूजिंग कंप्रेसर नोजल डिफ्यूजर दिस ऑल आर द पार्ट ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट अनदर क्लासिफिकेशन द प्राइम मूवर कैन बी क्लासिफाइड एज थर्मल एज वेल एज नॉन थर्मल सो व्हाट इज नॉन थर्मल नॉन थर्मल मींस दिस प्राइम मूवर आर नॉट डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड विद हीट इट इज अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ नॉन थर्मल द टर्म थर्मल इट विल रिप्रेजेंट द टर्म इज रिलेटेड विद हीट एनर्जी एंड हीट मींस इट इज एनर्जी ड्यू टू टेंपरेचर डिफरेंस सो नॉन थर्मल प्राइम मूवर्स इट इज नॉट डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड विद हीट सो the first classification of non thermal prime mover is water means hydraulic turbine so water is a natural source of energy it is freely available so whenever we store the water at particular height so at that time the energy stored in the water it's called potential energy what is potential energy it is energy due to elevation difference energy it is called potential energy and this potential energy it is utilized to rotate the turbine it is utilized to rotate the turbine it is converted into kinetic or mechanical energy so hydraulic turbine it's also a prime mover means it is a output device which uses natural source of energy it is available in water it is a potential energy it will be converted into mechanical energy so a hydraulic turbine it's a prime mover another prime mover it's a tidal power plant means tidal power so first of all what is tidal power so it is the same term like as hydro power plant but tide and ebb it is due to attraction of sun and moon in sea water generally the you observe that in sea water rise and fall of liquid due to tide and ebb so whenever the tide will be there at that time the water will be stored at particular height by making some dam and this water will be stored at some elevation or height difference so in a water the energy stored is potential energy and this potential energy it is converted into kinetic energy or mechanical energy so tidal power it is also a output device by making by using tidal power plant so tidal power plant means what here we are using tidal turbine here we are using turbine this turbine by sea water this turbine will be rotated by sea water and it will produce the electricity another classification of non thermal prime mover is wind mills it's also a free form of energy means it is also available naturally natural source of energy here we are using wind mills by using the high velocity of wind the wind mill blades it will be rotated and it, will, it and it will produce the electricity so it is a short introduction about different form of energy and its understanding